Right, today I'd just like to show you this um, boring head setup on the MyFit ML7. I got this one from Banggood and I've got a 2MT tape on the back of that one. You can get them with 3MT taper as well for the Chinese mini lathe. So you can actually buy the boring head or the taper end part here um, separately because they screw together. They're excellent quality tools and great to use on the lathe for various different jobs. And if you're going to use one on the lathe, it's best to use a draw bar with it. I've made a simple one up here out of 10 millimeter studding. Just a bush on the end there basically with a diameter which fits into the end of the um, MyFed ML7 or the Chinese mini lathe and a nut on the end and that one screws into the back of this one and then you can tighten it up and it'll be safe to use. Plus if you're using a setup like this it's best to have a thread protector. I've made this one up out of dowel rim with a o-ring inside here which it just pushes on the end of the threads rather than screwing on and that protects the threads obviously and keeps them clean. If you haven't got one of these, you can just screw an old faceplate onto the threads. So now I'm going to go out into the workshop and show you the setup and this one in use. At the end of the video, you'll see a photograph after I just finished this one and the method I used to get it on exact centre height for my tool post block. Right, so I've thoroughly cleaned the um, spindle bore and now I'll put my thread protector onto the end. It just goes on like that. Then I put the boring head into the lathe and my draw bar in the back. And the draw bar screws right into the stop or the end of the thread in the taper and then just tighten that one up and the boring head has 12 millimeter diameter holes in it I use one of these cut down boring bars Or for smaller diameter bores you can use ones like this with the brazed on carbide end. I did get these in half inch diameter shank but I turned them down to 12 millimeter. So now I've got my heavy duty angle plate set up on the lathe and I've got an acetal block um, clamped to it. Someone gave me a, a lot of these so I'm using this one just for an example. I've got a turned flat piece of nylon behind it so that it's clamped up nicely and when I go through with the drill or the boring bar there I won't hit the end of the angle plate. So just to eye it up so that it goes just beyond the block. Set my stop. And I've loosened the gib off on it and back that one off, ready to take the first cut. And you can see there that it's quite a way out. Um, I could put that one in the middle and start it off uh, to do the hole and then move it to the outer one later when the diameter's got a bit bigger. But in this case, I won't do that. So on this one, I'm not gonna use the power feed. I'm gonna use my handle at the back.
that's about it. And just before I go, I'd just like to show you this one here. When you're machining something like this, you have the hole open here. You don't want any swarf going down in there. I made this plate up out of brass and a rare earth magnet on the top with a little handle screwed on it. I've even stamped it my foot there. And that one just sticks to the cross slide, push it up against the um, plate or whatever, and it covers up that hole. And just see the photo now of the boring head setup which I used on my tool post to get it spot on centre height.